Uh, his baptism was invalid, if I'm not mistaken, because I think it was a deacon that was uh, baptizing him. And the deacon, instead of saying, uh, say his name was John, John, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He said, John, we baptize you. And I think the deacon was sort of thinking, okay, I am standing for the church, but he's not. You're standing for Christ. So the I that you speak there is really spoken by Jesus because it is Jesus who baptizes us through that person, through the minister of baptism. But the minister is speaking, I baptize you. And sort of perhaps linked in a certain way to when the priest uh, speaks at the altar and he says over the bread, uh, uh, this is my body. Obviously, uh, out of mass in a few hours time, it's not the body of Philip Kemi that's on the altar. And yet I'm saying it with my voice. This is my body. Uh, it's Christ's word. It's Christ who is speaking. So, uh, and so the, this priest was alerted to by the fact that uh, uh, the Vatican released about a month or two months ago, mm. a clarification saying baptisms using the formula, we are invalid, uh, that it must be I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I think maybe 10 or 15 years ago, there was also a problem with baptisms because certain people had taken upon themselves to change the persons of the Trinity um, to, to nominate them in their predominant uh, characteristic, maybe you might say. So it was God the Father was considered the creator, the God the Son was uh, considered the redeemer and God the Holy Spirit considered the sanctifier. Now, that might be a predominant characteristic attached to them, but God, the Trinity, is the creator, the redeemer, and the sanctifier, because the redeemer, Jesus, is sent by the Father in the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's not that he's uh, separate from the other two in his mission as redeemer, but they'd, they would baptize, I baptize John, I baptize you in the name of the creator, the redeemer, and the sanctifier. Once again, invalid baptisms. I think that may have been Australia and Canada that, uh, that those uh, baptisms had taken place, um, as I recall, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Uh, but uh, the simple formula is I baptize uh, because it is Christ who is baptizing. Uh, in if you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.